we got a new Black Ops seat. I'm hyped. I desperately needed a new seat. So it is uh, grippy on here. And then it's got this nice blue. So I think this is going to match the uh, Big Riffer quite nice. Yeah. Got a nice little Planet BMX sticker. Probably going to slap that on the bike. What else? Yes, sir. Let's. Oh, it's not even gonna fit in the frame, but uh, got a pair of four-piece SE Oakland Cruiser bars. I have been obsessed with these bars ever since they put them on the Beast mode, and uh, this isn't going on the Big Ripper. This is going on a different bike. She's still waiting on that. Those are the specs right there. These are gonna feel super solid. Yeah, and this is just a closer look at the uh, Oakland four-piece bars from SE. Yeah, this is the Black Ops seat. Gonna get some more like close-up shots of this. Feels pretty cushiony, you know. It was compared to the SE flyer seat. I just couldn't find one, so uh, yeah, I went with the Black Ops. Hopefully this thing holds up. I am going to install this on the Big Ripper, and hopefully we can get some uh, nice combos on it. just received a package from Harvester from uh, Toronto. Yeah, let's uh, open it up. Some more bike parts for the Big Ripper. Sent me some, ooh, some little stickers here. Harvester, gonna put this on the bike. Gonna look sweet, ooh, little, kinda old school looking uh, sticker. What else is in here? Oh, I needed these. I want to say three years ago, chain tensioners from SE uh, Bicycles, yes. These are a lifesaver because my dropouts are completely dusted. Got a little SE shirt. Yeah. Been wanting one of these for ever. Finally pulled the trigger and copped the little bubble, I'm pretty sure, bubble SE bikes. We ride as one. That is a true statement. We do ride as one. Anyone is able to ride with us. Got the little SC, extra large. Whenever I get my bike back from the shop, I will be putting these on the Big Ripper. Um, yeah. And I will be putting the other stuff from uh, Planet BMX. See you whenever I get the bike. Just got the bike back. They couldn't find the part in time, but that's okay. We are going to be adding parts to it and eventually riding it again. So yeah, we'll hop into that. Just going to have to wait to get this part or order it on Amazon. But I'll probably put my new seat on, put the chain tensioners on, and then wait to ride it. So yeah.
Alrighty, this is a continuation from the last clip. It's been about three months. Um, yeah, you last saw me install this seat and these chain tensioners. So, what we're gonna do right now is install this brake boss. I got, this is the old one, got bent. There's two new ones in there, gonna be installing that. Sadly, I can no longer run a normal V brakes because this little mount here, um, the pin from the actual brake arm that will go here, um, kind of scraped away a lot of this metal. So I don't really want to run V brakes because it's not going to be safe. Anyway, the Magura HS33. So we're going to install that. I'm not really going to film uh, that because it's kind of a complicated process. So I will update you guys when they are installed and then I'm going to go take it for a ride. Just gonna unbox this real quick. So these are the HS33R. So the brakes just sit in that little cardboard. There is some brackets, the manual, some stickers, some parts and tools. I was doing some research the other day, and this guy's video really explains how to do the um, installation on these Maguras for wheelie bikes, especially the brand new ones with the fighter tires. I think you have to like do a little modification to one of these brackets, whatever. So I'm going to watch this video, install them, and take it out for the first test ride. So yeah. Just successfully uh, installed the Magura HS. 33s complete it with a Magura sticker. You already know. These things are looking wild. But uh, enough chit chat and let's go ride. It's been three months since I've rode this bike, so let's go. Took the ripper out for a little spin. Went to a little spot and practiced with the brakes. These feel amazing. It took about 30 minutes for me to get used to them. There's this little adjusting knob here on the lever. They are amazing. Gonna get some clips maybe tomorrow. If I'm being honest, I've just been riding, not really filming. Just trying to, just enjoying being able to ride this bike again. Cause it's been three months since I've rode this. Damn near three months, yeah. But now I'm gonna get some clips for this video. Cause this video has been like all over the place. I think like three, months worth of footage is going to be in this one video of me installing everything. I feel way too sturdy with these brakes, like, I don't know, it's an insane feeling of having hydraulic V-brakes, like, it sounds crazy but, you know, they're a thing and they're awesome. But I hit this uh, road, it is closed, so we're gonna do a little bit of cutting up. Yes, sir. Oh, I miss doing this. You swerve, you just relieve all that stress, you know? If you ride bikes, you understand. Control of these brakes is unmatched. These Maguras are something different. It just feels like I'm floating when I'm wheeling now.
it is the next day, and we're going to be doing some uh, combos. The new brakes, the new seat. Let's get into it. probably all mashed up from three months of clicks but three months of clips this video has been three months in the making i love these brakes this seat is awesome too until next time make sure to like comment and subscribe it's been ottawa bike life for jacob keep running keep grinding we out